Hi and welcome back to Let's Learn to Sew. This video is a continuation of our short sew along with a focus on learning how to read a sewing pattern. In this video I'm going to show you how to cut out your sewing pattern. What you'll need is some craft scissors, your instructions, the pattern pieces, an iron, and an ironing board or a surface that's safe to iron on. So in our last video we talked about making sure you've read all of the instructions. So what we do now is we find what pieces go with the shorts. Our view is F, so we know we need piece 4 and we need piece 5. That's going to be the front and back. You'll notice they're much longer than shorts because what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the length of them so that instead of being pants we're doing shorts. So what I like to do is open up all of my pattern paper and again we're looking for pieces four and five. This sheet is pieces one through three and here on the second sheet we have pieces four and five. So what I'm going to do is cut this down the middle and I'm going to work on one piece at a time. Now that I've got these separated I'm going to take this over to my ironing board and I'm going to iron it. That way as I cut out on my size line I have a nice smooth even surface because as you can see right now it's got some folds in it. This section here it says this is the cutting line for view F so we know this is where we want to cut. I'm going to be doing the medium so everywhere I'm going to follow this M, this medium line, all the way around as I'm cutting. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut straight across and now I can get this longer piece out of the way. If I thought that I would want to do the pants later, you can either save it and tape it back on or you can fold it under instead of cutting it off. So now what I'm going to do is here is my M. I'm going to go all the way up. When you come to triangles, you have a couple of options. You can either cut in, cut out, or just cut straight across. I usually just cut straight across so that I'm staying on this line. These triangles are what we'll use to match the front and the back of the fabric together when we're ready to sew them. Here's my M and I'm just going to follow the solid black line and sometimes different patterns will have dotted lines, different colors. A lot of the PDF pattern makers use different colors for their size. You just want to make sure you know what size you're using and you cut along that line. So now I have the bottom of my shorts, the sides, up here's the waistband. What I'm going to do is come right, just get cut off this excess to make it easier for you guys for the video. So for the crotch, you'll notice that it comes down, this would be the front of the waist, it comes down and then kind of flares out. So what I want to do is I usually come here and I find my medium and this is the line that I want. So I will actually cut from here up, then I'll come over here and cut up. And I know some people that just take their pattern and they lay it out untrimmed onto the fabric. You can do that. I just prefer to cut out first and then lay it on the fabric. Again, I'm making sure I'm on my size. So now I have the front of my shorts pattern piece cut out. Let's go ahead and talk about some of these markings. So this is our grain line. We'll talk about that when we lay it out on the fabric. Shows me that this is pattern piece four. If I were to look back at the instructions, pattern piece four corresponds to the front of E and F. Tells me to cut two. 
and there is no fold line so I'm just going to lay this on two of the pieces of fabric and when we get ready to do the fabric I'll show you the easiest way to do that and then here you could see there's another section here that has the crotch line measurement you could have followed over that way also and most patterns are going to give you your finished garment measurements there on the pattern pieces that way if you need to make any adjustments you can so now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the back section which is pattern piece 5 so now that we have both of our pattern pieces cut out what you want to do is go ahead and take these over and iron them again. You want to make sure that there are absolutely no wrinkles in your pattern pieces and in the next video we'll go ahead and we'll get them pinned onto our fabric and cut out. If you have any questions about cutting out a sewing pattern let me know down in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer them. And be sure to visit letslearntosew.com, your sewing and pattern making headquarters.